Hello Aries, thanks for stopping by Born of the Rose and clicking on your solar eclipse energy update tarot card reading. This is not an astrology reading, this is a tarot card reading. We're going to be asking spirit to communicate to us through the tarot and through channeled messages. Um, to bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for us for this time. Yeah. Uh, what do we need to know about what's coming uh, with this solar eclipse energy that will be happening on Monday? Typically, if I'm recording on the weekend, I usually just do like a weekend update type reading. But today, with what we have coming down the line, I figured it was better for us to do a, um, a reading for that eclipse energy. But what's coming in for us? You know, what's the overall gonna be a happening? Now I see us as a complex a pile of stuff. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is a, a seven card reading, looking at the seven chakras from the root up to the crown. Complex pile of stuff, is I've never used that before. It's just a big old sweaty stack of pancakes. <laughs> Some of us, yeah, I think that depiction would work. I'm going to use the Steampunk Tarot for most of the reading. I have a couple of the decks with me that I can use to clarify. I'm not sure if I'll end up doing the same spread for all the Zodiacs, but this is what feels right for the Aries Collective. I've already meditated and uh, called in my guides so we shall see what we get and we won't pitch a fit but, uh, yeah this is gonna be an interesting uh, solar eclipse and we're getting in this position where we're kind of sandwiched between the two eclipses you know we had that lunar eclipse and now i got the solar coming up how have the energy's been treating you? It's been pretty wild for me. Um, I've definitely had some electrical, um, electrical component issues, like computer issues, phone issues. I'm hoping this is even recording. Um, but it's also caused me to step up my game. Um, I typically just push record, record till it's done, and I don't edit. I just point, shoot, and then post. That's the standard for me with my readings. Um, but this Mercury retrograde and after the lunar eclipse has required me to, okay, I'll get an editing app on my phone. <laughs> I'll splice videos together. And if I have to go further than that, I will. Um, it's not that I'm trying to keep this low tech. It's... <sighs> this is not my primary job. It's a job. It's a. It's not even a job. It's it's a service that I can provide, and I like to provide it. I have a job. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm not trying to keep it as minimal as I can, but I don't like to mess with the videos. It's not that kind of production that I'm doing here. It's about what the story is in the cards, and what the story is that's coming forth from spirit. That's where the focus should be not on cool graphics and, you know, that kind of a thingy. But, you know, people do enjoy watching that. It is stimulating, but I'm just worried that it takes away from the overall reading. We'll see. Who knows, maybe I'll get really into the whole editing thing. You never know. You never know when you start going down a rabbit hole where it's going to lead you to. Okay, before we continue, I want us to ground in together. I want us all to take a deep breath in. We're going to draw in, filling our lungs with fresh prana, fresh air, fresh life. And we're going to breathe out deeply all the stale, stagnant, stuck stuff that's in there. So we can start this reading fresh. What do you say? You do this with me? So let's breathe in together. And then let it out. Uh... 
No, it's not weird doing that. One of you, someone just thought that was really weird to do that. Come on, join in. No one can see you. You're in your room watching this, so no one knows you're doing that. Come on, do it with us, and then it'll help us all ground in together. Let's try one more time. We're going to breathe in together, and then we're going to let it all out together. You can even make a sound if you want to. So breathing in, and then out. Uh... Right on, right on. You're chuckling at me, but that's okay. You're chuckling at yourself, too. I'm with you. Cool, thanks. I feel better about this. Spirit, please be with us now. Bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our Aries Collective about the energies that are going to be coming to them, through them, for them, through this eclipse, solar eclipse we have on Monday, April 8th in the Western Hemisphere. Eastern Hemisphere. The energies will still be there, but, you know, as the Earth revolves, it's... Anyway, um, that'll be their Tuesday that we're experiencing the eclipse here on the Monday. Hmm. So anyway, Spirit, back to what we were saying. What messages do you have for the Aries Collective? Let's look at the rainbow spread, please. Feels. You're saying one more? We're going to cut it three ways, Spirit. Let's get this thing. Okay. All right. So, in our first position, this is the root chakra this is our security center this is our sense of security and well-being in the physical world we have the queen of pentacles earth sign feminine energy this is our grounding grounding us into the physical world um, she is good with her money she can attract um, what she wants physically and she doesn't mind a bit of luxury in her life yeah very stable. <clears throat> Ooh. It's a very stable energy in the physical world. It's a great position for grounding. And in our solar and in our sacral chakra, we have judgment. This is our creative center. This is just below the navel. Uh, the color reference for this one is orange. And this is also our sexual energy. Um, sexual creative energy is the same thing. There's no difference. And we're feeling judgment. This is a resurrection of something from the past. Um, the judgment card is calling forth um, something that's over and done with, calling it back up to be revisited in the now. So we may be experiencing... Um, Reflections on that day of past creative projects that we have put to the side. Maybe we're called to start them back up again. Judgment is calling things back up that haven't been completed. Next is our solar plexus energy. That's you know, right there, right before the rib cage starts. And that's our sense of self. And there we have strength. It's a card of Leo. Um, it's a wonderful place to have strength, too, is in that solar plexus. And this is about overcoming our demons, our monsters, our, our shadows. And the strength is also associated with the sun, which is a card of Leo. And it's that um, burning bright energy that gives us that confidence to face those things um, within us that maybe are holding us back. The next card out is our heart center. 
This and symbolized by the color green. This is the heart chakra. And here we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is a very intellectual card. Um, if we we're talking about a person, this person has initials after their name. You know, they're a licensed therapist, they're a licensed doctor, they're a certified public accountant, they're a professional engineer type. You know, these are highly educated people. It doesn't have to be male. Um, but that's in our heart space right now. And we may be feeling the need to forgive and heal something around either an intellectual pursuit that we gave up on or someone who has you know, that, that sort of a position in the world who maybe we feel beat up on by them. We're going to do a little clarification after this to see why these cards are here. But usually when the card shows up in the heart space, there's something around that that needs healing from us and forgiving. Now the next is our throat chakra with a light blue coloration. And this is an ace of swords. So there's something that needs to be communicated. So during this eclipse energy, this is a new idea. This is a new concept that we're going to feel the need to communicate. This can also be us receiving this communication. But usually the throat chakra is more about us bringing it out of ourselves. And in the third eye chakra, which is a navy blue or a dark blue, indigo blue, um, almost to a purple. This is what needs to be sensed. Nine of pentacles. This is a self-sufficient energy. We don't need anybody else. We're not relying on anybody else. We can take care of our own. We butter our own bread. We're good. We stand on our own two feet. And that's what needs to be sensed. So maybe some of us are missing that um, in that mental plane. Maybe we're not seeing that clearly. We're letting old patterns or old stories hold us back. And in the crown chakra, this is our connection to the divine. It's the empress. Empress energy. So this is uh, Taurus or Libra, ruled by Venus. And Aries, she's our sister planet. Aries is ruled by Mars. That's the emperor. And the empress is Venus. So divine feminine to our divine masculine. And she may be wanting us to embody some of her energy. So she's sending it into our crown center for us to receive that, um, that receptiveness. She is creative. She is passionate. She is beautiful. She is abundant, just like you. Okay. Spear, what's the pot of gold for this rainbow at the end of this rainbow? What's the pot of gold for Aries who are doing the inner work on that day? They're journaling, they're writing down the, uh, the feelings that they have, and they're expressing what needs to be spoken. They're seeing themselves in their abundance. They're feeling strong in their inner self. Ah, what's the pot of gold for these Aries? Four of Swords. Being able to put end to heartache and pain. And to rest from that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ah, Spirit, do our feathered friends have any advice for the Aries Collective through this portal, through this solar eclipse energy what advice do our feathered friends want to pass on to our aries collective what advice do our feathered friends have osprey your success is now at hand allow the abundance to flow to you effortlessly this is the osprey this is what their feather looks like 
It's a nice pattern there for you. Aries, I'm not actually feeling called to clarify anything. I think if I do, I will narrow the reading down too much and take it away from some people who there is messages for in this. So I'm not feeling called to do that this time. I don't always feel called to uh, clarify. It's a pretty straightforward read and it really speaks of a full story. I'm super grateful that you came by for this. And, ah, uh, yeah, if you like the reading, please click like it. It helps. So it's nice to know that you guys enjoy it. Um, if it resonates and you want to share about that, and you feel called, uh, these comments are supposed to be a safe space. So if there's any heckling or bullying happening, I will remove those messages immediately. So far, so good. I haven't seen anything like that. Comments have been very sweet and very positive, and I appreciate that very much. Um, and yeah, I'm probably gonna end up getting a Patreon or something like that. So people, people have been mentioning that they want to donate to the channel, and I really do appreciate those offers. They're very kind, and yeah, you know, I can receive. So I'll get that set up by in the next week or so. But if you want to subscribe to the channel, it's free. Click on subscribe, you know, and you'll get notified when my uh, new videos come out. Anyways, Aries, thank you so much for coming around. From my heart to yours, I'm sending you love. I'm sending you peace. I appreciate you.